Hello, thanks for checking out my video. Today in this video, I wanna talk about light up cards. Specifically, the circuitry and the products I use to make them light up. Now, you may recognize some of these from uh, recent videos. Um, if you are interested in learning how to do the whole how-to for these cards, do check those videos out on my channel. But for this particular video, we're just going to talk about the circuitry elements and just kind of the basic components that I use to make them light up. So cool. Now, of course, if you have fallen in love with some of these Stampin' Up! products used, the different stamp sets, I know this recent one, I featured the High Tide stamp set from Stampin' Up! the new Occasions catalog. If you are interested in placing an order, there is a link to my Stampin' Up! store available down below. Um, and all of my February customers who place an order are actually going to get a free light-up card in the mail. So there's just a few more days left in February if you would like to uh, support my business by doing that. Okay, so for the light up cards, I use several different things. Now when I first started, um, I started with this kit. Now this is from Chibitronics and it is a really awesome starter kit for anybody interested in um, basic light up um, projects. And this kit includes uh, six six little um, LED circuit stickers, the two big batteries, some clips, and a particularly awesome instruction book with step to step, -to -step um, instructions on some basic um, circuitry layouts. Now we're going to be covering uh, several of them straight from this book today, so you may not necessarily need to get this startup kit to start making uh, your cards. You could buy the pieces individually, but definitely a great place to start. And that is available from Amazon for 30 bucks. I'll also say that I'm in no way affiliated with the Chibitronics or any of the products besides Stampin' Up! that I'm sharing with you. Um, I just think they're particularly awesome. But if Chibitronics uh, wants to ship me any free stuff, I'm all for that too. All right, so this other uh, thing that I tend to use is their LED circuit stickers. Now these are awesome. So you can get them in packs of 30. Um, 30 bucks off Amazon, and it's Prime eligible for those that are Prime members. Uh, and these are just peel and stick and are so easy to use. They have these tiny, tiny, I don't know if you can see it because it's hard to focus. There we go. These tiny little lights, little LED lights. So perfect for cards because they're just the right size. So these I absolutely love, and they also uh, have them available in a few other colors as well. Oh, that's kind of glary. Uh, blue, yellow, and red. So these are just a pack of the white, and they've got some colors as well. All right, the other thing I tend to use for making my cards, and you will need besides your LED uh, awesome stickers, is batteries. Now, I just bought a pack of these just off Amazon. Um, any other batteries with the same um, wattage could work just as well. But these are CR1220 uh, lithium batteries, and they're 3 volt. Now, the circuit stickers are made to work from a range of 2.8 to 3.6 volts. Um, so this at 3 volts just hits right there in the sweet spot. And you can get a whole pack of 25 for $5.49. Um, but I'm sure other brands would work just as well. Also, the kit comes with the larger size um, batteries as well. If you would like to do um, the... Uh, 2032, these bigger ones. I just found for cards, uh, going smaller, it's just a little lighter weight um, and a little easier to work with, but both will work as well. Okay. The other thing, the kit, uh, the starter kit comes with copper tape. So this copper tape. Now in my videos, my how-to videos, I don't tend to use the copper tape. It is a very common product in doing light up circuitry, this peel and stick copper tape, but I found it's pretty fussy to use. Um, but I will share with you in this video how to use it, um, and just taking corners and stuff, because it is in the starter kit and um, is a quite common product. 
All right, but the last thing that, and of course the one that I am super excited about that it exists, is this conductive ink pen. Now this is what I use in my videos instead of the copper tape. Now this is uh, made by a company called Circuit Scribe, and it's about 20 bucks, and it is like a fancy gel pen. And that conductive ink just moves the current along uh, to make the LED lights up instead of the copper. So this is a fabulous, fabulous product um, that I absolutely am in love with. All right, so those are our basic uh, card components. So we just need the light, um, the copper or the pen, and a battery. Um, also good to know, uh, one um, of these LED stickers and one of the coin batteries will last you about 24 hours if it's uh, on straight. Most of the light up cards, it's not going to be, um, the light is not going to be on for 24 hours straight, so it should last you a while. I mean, it's only on when you press it, uh, given the way I've been doing them. So it should last you quite a while. The battery itself um, is supposed to last several years. If, you know, if it drains the battery, you can just change the battery out depending on the project. And the pen is uh, said to contain enough ink to draw 60 to 200 meters, depending on how thick your lines are. So all interesting things to know. All right. So let's talk about the copper tape first and just how to use that. And we'll go from there. So here is just a scrap of some Whisper White that I have. So for the copper tape, uh, you do need to be mindful of any little kinks or bumps in it. And you can see there's a little one right there. You want to kind of press that out with the nail. Um, any kind of kinks or bumps in your uh, copper line may affect the conductivity of it. And if it's the current is not allowed to go through it, then you might not have a light light up. So basically all you're going to do is peel that backing off, peel it off, and stick it down. You just kind of rub it down with the nail. You can It's pretty thin, so you can tear it uh, with your nail if you want, uh, or scissors if you prefer. Uh, the thing to keep in mind, though, if you are doing a circuit with the copper tape, is it needs to be a continuous flow. Now... What I mean by that is you're going to go, well, okay, let's just talk about corners first and then I'll show you the circuit layout. So, I'm going to do a little line, okay, you guys can see that, see that? All right, so to do a curve, you need to make sure that you fold it to where the two pieces of copper are touching each other. So for that, I'm going to peel the back off so I have enough to work with here. Then I'm going to turn it the opposite direction that I want it to go. So I want to curve it to the right. I'm going to pull the tape to the left and I'm going to fold it over. Just use my nail. If you can see that right there. Okay. So a nice right angle. So I'm going to fold it, fold it over, rub it with my nail. And then I'm going to take that copper and fold it back over and kind of press it down. So you're doing kind of that fun right corner. All right, so we're going to do another one. So we're going to go this way with the copper. So we're going to pull it back the opposite direction. You can see that. Sorry, it's a little reflective. Okay, so you're going to pull it back the opposite direction you want to go. You're going to press it down to get that sharp corner and then fold it back down press it. Okay, so one more time. Go this way. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Going Well, actually, let's go to the left. We're going to go to the left. So, I'm going to pull it back to the right. Okay, move my copper back a little. Here we go. Back to the right. Press that corner down. Ah, it is sticky. <laughs> Find your fingers. Uh, press that corner down and then take your tape and fold it back. Oh, this underside is being annoying. Okay, there we go. Go back. Just 
pinched on top. So you can see it's a little tricky to work with, but if you have the, the patience to deal with it, um, you can use this instead of the copper. Um, but it's just those corners can be really tricky um, to get right. And especially in a class, I just didn't want to deal with the copper tape. Okay. Now let's talk. But that is the basics of the copper tape for those who would prefer to use it. All right, so let's talk a basic circuit. So our first one is just a simple circuit. Now for this example, I'm gonna use the copper tape so you can see. So I did the corners just like I did here. Now if you're using the copper tape you and doing a simple circuit, you need to leave a tiny space. Now this is where um, your little LED sticker is going to sit. It got kind of dark all of a sudden, okay. Um, so you wanna leave a tiny gap there. And then for up here, let's get a bigger battery so you can see. Okay, a couple things ready to go, okay. So for your simple circuit, you've got your spot where your battery sits. The battery is always gonna sit with the words facing up, okay? That's the positive side, words up. And it's gonna sit on top of that copper or the uh, conductive ink line. Now, if you're doing the ink, I do a kind of a circle instead of just the line, just to make sure it's got a good um, conductive spot. But you're gonna place that on top. And you can see that the copper line flows all the way here. Now, for your LED sticker, these have two, I don't know if you can see that, it's really tiny. Here we go, let me focus in. Here we go. So if you look closely, it's got a little tiny negative and a little tiny positive right there. So the little pointy side is the negative side, okay? So when looking at your circuit, oh, blurry again, I'm sorry. So when looking at your circuit, the negative line is gonna be the first side that hits and the positive is gonna be this other side. So that means that the point of your little battery needs to be facing on this side and then the um, rounded end the other way. So we're just gonna peel this off, just like that. And be sure that when you stick it down that one end is touching one side of the copper and one side is touching the other. Press it down. Now I will say sometimes these stickers don't wanna sit all the way flat, so sometimes you have to press the ends down a little bit with your fingernail, okay? And then, if I did this right, when I press this down, it completes the circuit and turns on the light. But for this to work, you do need to have that uh, conductive copper on the bottom of the battery and the top. Because if it just touches one side, it's not gonna complete the circuit. To complete the circuit, you need both sides on just like that. So this is a very basic circuit. This is what I used to actually make this light up card. Now I'm gonna show you the guts behind it so you can see that. And this one was made using the uh, conductive ink. Okay, so this is an example. So here you can see, oh, line it back up. Okay, so this would be the card that you would see. And there's the lighthouse working like that. Okay, so if I take that piece off, can see here so there instead of the lines I did a big circle for the battery to sit on with the conductive ink and a corresponding one for the top and I draw drew two lines with the negative side hitting that first line and the positive side hitting the other now, I will say when you're using the conductive ink pen, uh, you do need to be sure that you do bolder lines, kind of thicker lines. Uh, the thinner lines, it doesn't always um, carry the con conductivity. Um, I will also say too, mm, excuse me, uh, you need to really be careful with that curve where you fold it uh, and add a little extra there so that it hops that uh, curve, okay? The other thing is when drawing the um, ends that the sticker is gonna sit on. 
you do want to be sure that they don't touch, that the two lines don't touch, like the copper or the, the um, drawn lines, but they do need to be big enough that the two tips of the circuit sticker can uh, cover both of them, essentially. So if it's too thin, there's not going to be enough for it to uh, react to, okay? So that is just your basic simple circuit. Now you can apply this to any number of cards or other projects, but I just find it awesome. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, your next type of circuit is a parallel circuit. Now this one is what I used recently. Oh, I don't know why I have a pencil out. Okay, uh, used recently for another card project. So let me share that one with you guys. So this is another recent card that I did. Okay, so we press the moon and the fireflies light up. Isn't that cool? Okay, it's not glued down, so it's not particularly even, but you get the idea. So if you peel off the stamped side away, you're gonna see another kind of circuit. So now this is called a parallel circuit, um, and it's how you can do multiple lights in a row. Now this is yet again with that conductive ink um, pen instead of the copper, but the copper would work just the same way. You just would not be able to do that curve. You would have to do a straight um, 90 degree turn with the copper instead of the line. Okay, so for this one, uh, if you're doing any kind of curves or twist, you do need to keep in mind which side is the negative side. Oh, my battery's going to slide. Which side is the negative side so you have the point of your sticker uh, pointing towards that negative side. Otherwise, it won't uh, flow correctly. Now for this one, you're having your negative pole and your positive pole end openly. I don't know the technical reason for that. I'm not an electrician. <laughs> I just know that this is how the instruction book said and how it works. So, um, but you can definitely do multiples on a single string. Uh, three is about as many as I have done so far, but it uh, works really great. Uh, yet again, I just need to be sure that you have enough um, tape or ink to um, hit all of those little points. Now I will show you um, another layout for this besides the one I did from the little handy instruction book. So this is another version. Now this is their instruction book for the basic starter kit. And so in this one they did a full curve. Now, if you were doing the tape, you would have to kind of do uh, the angles little bit by little bit, but you can do uh, multiple lights with that kind of configuration. But see, yet, yet again, you've got the negative side, so you have to keep in mind, see the stickers upside down, because that's the negative pole that that end needs to touch, okay? The uh, last circuit type I want to share with you guys is a switch style. Now, I don't have any cards using this one uh, just because I kind of have been enjoying the circle, uh, the simple circuit layout uh, has been preferable, but this is another one that's good to know. So, similar to the copper or the ink, you're going to have your, your battery with the fold over side. But this one, you would have a pin or something holding that battery, making a permanent contact. But you have a hole, a nice little hole in your circuit line somewhere that is filled in when you fold it over and complete it. Oh, I don't have a battery in there. There you go. <laughs> you won't see it work without a battery. Okay. So, so right now, it doesn't work, but when you press it down, so that little extra piece of copper or ink completes the circuit so it can flow all the way to the battery. So you could see there's a lot of different applications for this on cards. You could have some kind of push button or other um, thing like that. But I found that using the dimensional strips, it holds the connect just far enough above the battery that it basically acts as a button. So while you can do this way, I, I kind of like the other way a little better. But just another uh, simple circuit layout for your cards and just so you know. All right, last thing, uh, just a couple basic troubleshooting tips. So you've drawn your um, circuit, whether it's the simple, the parallel, or um, the switch style, which is what this one is called, um, and it's not lighting up. So I've had a couple classes with this now, so I can kind of understand what some of the basic um, 
common problems are. So if you're using the ink pen, you want to definitely check that you drew your lines thick enough. A lot of times people might draw their lines a little thin and there's not enough ink there to conduct um, the, that power through it. So if it's not working and you use the ink pen, make your lines thicker. The other thing is to check your battery placement. So if your battery is not sitting well, this is not a good example because I did it around top. But if your battery is not sitting where the top and the bottom both uh, connect, then it's also not going to work as well. So check your battery placement, check your lines. If you're using the copper tape, be sure that there's no kinks or bumps in your line. So you can kind of run over it with uh, your uh, bone folder or with your fingernail and just kind of straighten those out and smooth those out as best you can. Uh, is my other tip. And then lastly, uh, those didn't work. Also check your stickers. You need to you press them down with your fingernail or just a tool and be sure that it's sitting on that properly. If you noticed that you tried all these and it's not working, do check and make sure that there is enough copper or ink behind your sticker so that um, you can actually activate the sticker. If it's a too small of an area, behind there it won't work. Uh, lastly, you can peel off the stickers. I don't recommend it because they're not really meant to be multiple use because we're talking paper and paper and a sticky adhesive. It just tears. Um, if you're very careful, sometimes you can gently pry it off and use it on another project, but especially with the, uh, the copper ink, it will um, adhere to the back side of the sticker and make it hard to uh, reapply elsewhere because you've already sealed that um, backing. So just keep that in mind. And when in doubt, just draw those lines a little thicker and straighten your copper. Well, I hope you guys found this uh, tutorial uh, useful and I'd love to see some of your light up cards. Uh, feel free to uh, send me a picture or comment on my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com backslash Michelle's Corner of Crafts. Uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.